Hello everybody, Hectix here, and welcome back to Gravel. Now, in the last segment, we took care of episode 11 here. Now we have the special episode. So, uh, again, I will be muting the cutscene, so I will see you after that. And there's the cutscene, so they're all head-to-head -head events, as you would expect. So first up, we're in Alaska, then the last two are both in Namibia. So I do believe we've been on all of these tracks. I could be wrong. So, let's see, what vehicle of choice do we want to use? I know I've used the Touareg, I know I've used the Navara. I don't think I've used the Hilux. I know I've used all the DLC cars, so I don't have to worry about that. But I don't believe I've used the Hilux or the Duster. So I think I'm going to go with the Duster for this one. So let's go with this. So we've got this livery and this one. Even though the best looking one is the one for level 54. Well, that's a shame. Anyway... Comparative to these two, the second one definitely looks a lot better, so we'll go with that. And let's begin. And here we are for our first head-to-head -head event. So, hopefully this duster handles relatively well, since we haven't used it. Doesn't sound too bad. Relatively decent gear ratios. Not too short, but uh, definitely not too long. Oop, didn't mean to cut it too much there. So his, uh, I think that's another mini countryman. Not too bad. Oh, it's a six speed, good to know. But, uh, yeah, he definitely has a little bit uh, better pace than me. Considering I don't have a seventh gear, so... Oh, and we have been on this track. We used the, um, what, the HRX? that didn't like cornering as well as it didn't have very much pick up and go for this track, I do believe. So, let's see if we can figure out a way around him. Considering, well, he's definitely, whoop. Didn't expect him to hog the inside line as much as he did. Let's see, is there a way around him that doesn't cost me time? So we're already in 5th gear, and he's definitely got better speed than I do. Let's see if we can have a little bit of late braking. There we go. So we're finally around him. Took a little bit of time. Ooh, that was a bit of a bump. Thought I was going to roll the truck right there. <laughs> Glad I didn't. That would be a total redo at that point. Yeah, he's got some serious speed. Compared to me, bring that down. Hey, he cut that. He didn't even hit the checkpoint. He actually completely cut that. Yep, there we go. Glad to know that the AI has uh, that limitation as well. They can't just completely cut it. That's good to know. So that pretty much more or less hopefully secured our victory. Provided I don't miss a checkpoint. Because, you know, that would suck. And that would... Uh, I wouldn't call that karma because I didn't make him miss that corner. He missed it on his own, so that'd be a very bad uh, turn of events. I'm gonna bring it down a gear here. You know, sixth gear is not very good for hill climbing. Not enough torque. There we go. So yeah, we have 25% of the track left. Now, if I remember correctly, this ends with a really long straightaway, does it not? Or am I thinking of a different layout? 
But yeah, we've completely left him in the dust. More or less. Yep, it's a really long... Yep, it is... Uh, excuse me. This is the layout I was thinking of. Uh, not too bad. 223 kilometers an hour is the top speed. Oh, 225 right there for a brief moment. Yep, 225 is the highest I'll hit with it. Good to know. And it takes a very steep hill to do that. Oh well. Still beat him by f almost four and a half seconds. Wow. Really goes to show you when you miss a checkpoint, it can really cost you the entire run. So, do we get anything? Level 42, we unlocked delivery for the Delta S4, the Navara, and that's it. So, let's move on to the second head to head event. And here we are for our second head to head event. So, we're in Namibia for the first of two times. So, obviously, clear weather and it's Thank God it's daytime, I'd rather not have a night race. So, I'm not too surprised that it's clear weather, considering where we are in the desert. I would be very surprised if it was raining. Yeah, he definitely has better pickup and go compared to me. Although, once I get going, I think I might have better top end. I don't know exactly. But overall, this duster is not too bad. Definitely struggling a little bit for pace, but I don't think it's the end of the world. Uh, avoid the rocks here. I don't feel like... Oop, damn it. <laughs> well, glad that happened at the beginning of the race, but I think that might have just costed me the entire run. We'll see. But I'm damn well giving it my best shot to try and catch him. But that already was apparently 20% of the race, so that doesn't help. Also having the uh, wet sand there doesn't help either. Good, we're not really going through the forest, more or less. Well, the oasis is what I really should say. Okay, we are going through the oasis. Never mind. So I don't know how far back we are, but I can see him there off in the distance. So whether or not we can actually gain ground, who knows. There's a good jump. Don't need to take the other ramps on the side here, that would be costing me time. I can avoid the wet sand if I can. And he just binned it, oh my god. Um, well then. Just see him go flying in the distance. Well, that's a good way to end your race. What happened, well, I hit a rock at the beginning, so I didn't really get airborne, but he just went to space. I didn't know this game was sponsored by a Kerbal Space Program, but anyway, we'll continue. Hopefully that, uh, we can keep this lead. Considering, well, I don't have the best pickup and go for these hills, so... Yeah, this, this might be a little bit difficult. Don't cut that too much. Don't swing out too wide. There we go. I don't feel like missing a checkpoint now that we finally got the lead back after our massive mistake at the beginning. But I honestly didn't think he would bin that as much as he did. But uh, that's good news for me, bad news for him. And we got a bit of a steep hill coming up, so... Well, sand dune. I still don't know what to call these. But there we go. Hopefully we have enough torque. I'll bring it down a gear anyway, actually. There we go. Oh, we're going this way now. So we definitely unlocked this layout, because I don't remember those rocks at the beginning. But, there we go. We got our recovery, but we got lucky for it. If he didn't bin it as much as he did, I don't think we would have won that race. I genuinely don't think we would have won that. But, glad we kept going, instead of redoing. 
So we still beat him by 5.2 seconds. Damn. Anyway, let's see, I think we got the track at least. Yep, we got the coast layout. There we go. Gonna have to remember that for next time, because I don't feel like smacking into uh, another set of rocks. But anyway, let's move on to the final event. And here we are for our final event. Now this will be my second attempt at this. I uh, kind of binned it on the first one. You'll see the blooper at the end in quite a spectacular way as well. So uh, yeah, you're going to definitely be seeing that at the end. So yeah, overall, we've been on this track. Car doesn't handle too bad. Well, truck doesn't handle too bad. He's not too difficult. He actually crashed on the first attempt. So, yeah, that was actually quite nice until I crashed later on. That didn't help. But yeah, this is the uh, track with the mining tunnel that we had, a f I think it was a few episodes ago, I believe. But uh, his speed here is quite good. Not gonna lie. He's definitely got a lot more pick up and go compared to me. I'm gonna actually bring it down a gear so get a little bit higher revs. A little bit more torque on top of that. But this is the section he actually crashed, so hopefully this time he does again. Oh, he's going that way. Okay, he didn't go that way last time. I'm gonna go this way. Hopefully I don't crash. There we go. Because there's a lot of small rocks around here and I don't feel like smacking into them. Yeah, that was cutting it close. Oop, didn't mean to shift down a gear there. Although I think he actually did crash. Because he's not in my minimap anymore. So I think I caught a little bit of a lucky break again and had him crash for a second time. Bring that down. Now hopefully I don't crash for the uh, particular section I did originally. And we can actually complete the race. So here's hoping to that. Now I do believe there is a way to get around these ramps. But because it's dark and I can't really judge, I'm just going to take the ramp. There we go. Now here's the mining tunnel, but because it's night time and I can't see where I'm going, there we go. Yeah, it's kind of hard to find the entrance when uh, you can't even see it. So he's on my minimap now, so he's definitely gained time. Although I'm not too surprised, I did have to come to quite, quite a slow speed through that section, so I didn't miss the corner. As well as I didn't feel like hitting the uh, stone cliff spot, or cliff side base. There we go. English, I swear I speak it. But anyway. Now let's see if we can keep a good run through here. This is where I binned it last time. Off this jump. There we go. Not doing too bad for speed. But as you can see slightly by the minimap, he is gaining a little bit. Just a little bit. But as long as I don't hop around too much, I should have this, because the goal is right up ahead. Land that, there we go. I was afraid I was going to roll it on that landing, considering the angle I hit that. But there we go. That's him over and done with. Three out of three. The real boss achievement. That's a nice achievement to get. I don't know how many I have left, so I'll have to check at some point. But we still beat him by 2.7 seconds, so he definitely did gain quite a bit of time. If I didn't have to slow down as much for that uh, tunnel entrance, I think that would have been at least three, three and a half seconds. At least. But anyway, that takes care of that. We unlock the X-Raid, livery for the A110, livery for the Polo, basically his livery on some of the cars. But there we go. Wow, quite a bit of liveries, there we go. Dang, they're never ending. <laughs> oh my god. 
There we go, there's the end, finally. So we finished and we're level 43 now. So, now we just have, I believe it's five episodes left? I do believe. Indeed, there's only five episodes left before the season finale. Well, the ep or, uh, series finale, as I should call it. So yeah, that takes care of him. We'll work on episode 12 next episode. So with that, thank you very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. And I will see you all in the next one. Have a good one. Bye. Because this ends up taking us to the beach, if I remember correctly. Oh! Okay, that was sweet. And that was a terrible, terrible landing. But that was still sweet nonetheless. Ooh, and he rear-ended me. <laughs> what? How did he get away from that scot-free? Come on. <laughs> oh, well. Guess that's a redo, everybody.